extraneous loads. Um, we're going to talk about couplings. Basically, a torque sensor, just like a load cell, it's designed to measure in its measurement axis, which in a torque sensor, it's uh, a rotating axis, or say, a ro about the rotating axis. Um, if it has um, thrust loads on the shaft, those can be errors. They can also be damaging. Um, bending loads can be damaging. Torque sensors have bearings in them. The bearings can be ruined by extraneous loading. Um, all of those things. Um, basically, if you have a bending load in the shaft, you're going to get a bending induced signal that changes with the uh, position or orientation of the bending. So imagine if a shaft is spinning, you know, 60 times per second, you might get a 60 hertz signal that's just due to the bending. Um, he said also it'll wear out the bearings. Um, so we got radial bending loads. Those actually could be a weight of a tested device, can be misalignment in a drivetrain, can be poor couplings. So all drivetrains always have misalignment. And customers will say, oh, I'm going to align it perfectly. Oh, I'm going to you know, do this and do that. Well, the components in the system are not um, running true. And so you can align the shafts perfectly, but as soon as you rotate one of those shafts relative to the other or just rotate them, right, they don't run perfectly concentrically. So I always have a little bit of misalignment, even if you align everything really well. And then with temperature and wear and bearings and everything, you have to account for, say, growing misalignment that changes with time. And so couplings do that. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, they're designed for that. Um, you always need couplings in rotating systems and, and in non-rotating ones too, because you don't want the bending loads and the uh, errors created by that. Now that said, rotating sensors, you also tend to ruin them quicker because as you're, you're basically rotating it, you get a hammering of these, uh, say, misaligned loads. Say it ends up looking like a bending load. You know, you're bending it, you know, back and forth at, you know, 10,000 RPM, right? So that would equal um, a lot of uh, bending loads per, you know, test session. So you can wear out the sensor pretty easily. Same thing with, with um, uh, bearings. So you've got some misalignment. It looks like a hammering or, you know, uh, say imbalance in the system. It looks like a hammering into the bearings and it'll wear them out. And as soon as they start to wear, it exacerbates and gets worse and worse. So you have a system that seems to be doing okay and then just runs away, you know, in the course of, you know, a minute, it can go from seeming okay to being completely destroyed. Um, again, the customer needs to worry about that, but we need to help them understand that it's their, um, that they need to worry about it, right? We can't really... Uh, that's not our expertise so much, but you need to make sure the customer's aware that they need to um, consider those types of things.